Welcome back to our channel Just Australia. We hope you are doing great. The future policies for Visa 190 and 491 in 2023 to 24 are still being finalized, but there are a few changes that have been announced so far. Today we will talk about the future policies for Visa 190 and 491 in 2023 to 24. So before we begin, please subscribe to our channel if you've not done so yet. The visa application charges will increase from between 6 and 40 percent across various visa categories. The skilled independent visa, subclass 189, will be abolished, and all skilled independent visas will be issued under the skilled regional visa, subclass 190. This means that all skilled independent visa applicants will need to be nominated by a state or territory government. The skilled work regional, provisional, visa, subclass 491, will be renamed the Skilled Employer-Sponsored Regional Visa, subclass 491. This change is intended to make it clearer that the visa is for people who are sponsored by an employer in a regional area of Australia. The eligibility criteria for both the 190 and 491 visas will be tightened, with a greater emphasis on English language proficiency and skills in demand in Australia. The government has also announced that it will be introducing a new points-based system for skilled migration in 2025. This system is designed to be more transparent and efficient, and to ensure that Australia attracts the skilled migrants it needs to grow its economy. The exact details of the future policies for Visa 190 and 491 will not be known until they are finalized. But the changes that have been announced so far suggest that it will become more difficult to obtain these visas in the future. If you are considering applying for a 190 or 491 visa, it is important to speak to a migration agent to get up-to-date advice on the latest requirements. Here are some additional things to keep in mind about the future policies for Visa 190 and 491. The state and territory governments will have a greater say in who is nominated for a 190 visa. This means that the demand for 190 visas may vary depending on the state or territory. The government has said that it will be increasing the number of places available for 491 visas, but it is not yet clear how many places will be available. The government has also said that it will be introducing a new regional visa stream for international students who have completed their studies in Australia. This stream is expected to be launched in 2024. If you are interested in immigrating to Australia on a permanent basis, it is important to stay up to date on the latest immigration news and policies. You can do this by visiting the website of the Department of Home Affairs or by speaking to a migration agent. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.